What's up, everyone? Today, we're pulling back the curtain on a tool that's basically the Inspector Gadget of Phone Number Reconnaissance Phone in Foga. Now, this isn't just some run-of-the-mill phone book lookup. We're talking about a tool that can track down all sorts of data on a phone number, from where it's registered to potentially who's using it. But before we roll up our sleeves, do me a solid, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you're always in the loop when I drop new content. All right, enough with the plugs, let's get down to business. Step one, installing Phone and Foga. You could be boring and use the online demo instance of Phone and Foga, but where's the fun in that? So let's install this thing locally. First things first, we need to grab the installation command. So let's grab that command and paste it into our terminal. I'm using the op directory because that's where I like to keep my tools nice and organized. You can put it wherever you want. The cloning process starts, and within seconds, we've got the entire Phone and Foga repository sitting on our machine. Next, we need to navigate into the directory and install the necessary dependencies. And just like that, we're ready to roll. Step two, getting acquainted with Phone and Foga's commands. Now that we've got Phone and Foga installed, it's time to take this bad boy for a spin. The first thing we need to do is check out what commands are available. So let's run the Phone and Foga command with no arguments and see what we're working with. All right, here's what we've got. Scan. This is the bread and butter of Phone and Foga. It allows you to scan a phone number and gather all sorts of information about it. Serve starts up a web client for those who prefer a graphical interface over the command line. Version shows you which version of Phone and Foga you're running. Not the most exciting, but it's good to know. Help. When in doubt, this command is your friend. It gives you a quick rundown of all the commands and options. Now, let's dive into the scan command because that's where the real magic happens. Step three, scanning a phone number. All right, time to get our hands dirty. We're going to use the scan command to check out a phone number. Here's how you do it. Let's break this down, dash N. This flag is used to specify the phone number you want to scan. Simple enough, right? Phone number, replace this with the actual phone number you want to investigate. Make sure to include the country code. Phone and Foga is pretty smart, but it needs a little help figuring out where the number is from. For this demo, I'm going to scan a number that I know my local McDonald's. Here's what we've got. Country, Jordan. No surprises there, it's a Jordanian number. Local format, the number as it would be dialed within Jordan. International format, the number as it would be dialed from outside Jordan. But that's just scratching the surface. Phone and Foga doesn't stop at basic information, it also uses Google dorks to dig deeper. These dorks are specially crafted search queries that can uncover all sorts of things, from social media profiles to leaked databases. For example, if this number was used on an Instagram account, Phone and Foga might just find it. Step four, getting fancy with the web interface. Now, if you're more of a visual learner, you're gonna love this next part. Phone and Foga comes with a built-in web interface that you can use instead of the command line. Let's start the web interface by running. By default, this will start a web server on port 5000. But if you've got something else running on that port, you can specify a different one. For now, we'll stick with 5000 because, well, I like round numbers. Open up your web browser and head to localhost, 5000. There it is, the phone in Foga GUI. The interface is super straightforward. You've got a search bar where you can enter the phone number and a big friendly scan button. Let's go ahead and run that same McDonald's number through the GU1. The same information pops up, but this time, it's all laid out in a nice clean format. You can see the country, the type of line, and all the other details just like before. It also lets you toggle between different views and even explore the Google Dorks results more interactively. Step five, diving deeper with Google Dorks. Now let's talk about these Google Dorks for a minute. If you've never heard of them, Google Dorks are advanced search queries that let you uncover hidden information on the web. You can check my video about Google Dorks in the cards if you want to dig deep. Think of them as cheat codes for Google. Phone and Foga uses these dorks to find more data associated with the phone number you're investigating. For example, if someone used this number on a social media account, or if it's listed in some obscure online forum, a well-crafted Google dork could reveal it. To see this in action, let's take one of the dorks that Phone and Foga generates and try it out. Maybe it's something like this. Copy that into Google. And who knows what you might find? Maybe nothing, maybe something interesting, but that's the beauty of OSINT. You're piecing together information from various sources to build a complete picture. And that, my friends, is a detailed tour of Phone and Foga. We've installed it, explored its commands, run some scans, and even dabbled with the web interface. If you learned something today, or if you just enjoyed hanging out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon.